Greetings, dear viewers, and a warm welcome to our channel. We're here to shed light on the intriguing world around us, from the subtleties of royal affairs to the more general topics that pique your interest. Our goal? To deliver you thoughtful, fact-based content free of bias and sensationalism. If that's the kind of content you're seeking, we invite you to subscribe and join us on this enlightening journey. Now let's dive into the topic of the day. Today our focus turns to the UK media's recent portrayal of Harry and Meghan's upcoming polo documentary series. This isn't just any series, it's a unique look into the world of polo, a sport deeply cherished by the couple. Yet the UK media seems to be painting it with a rather unflattering brush, urging people to turn a blind eye. A rather questionable stance, wouldn't you agree? This series promises an insider's perspective into the sport, a chance to see it through the eyes of Harry and Meghan, who are known for their passion for polo. The media's negative spin, however, seems to be less about the series itself and more about the couple behind it. A clear case of sour grapes, perhaps. But we won't let the media's narrative cloud our judgment. We'll delve deeper, unearthing the truth and cutting through the noise. Let's examine the UK media's approach in more detail. The UK media, it seems, have decided to take a rather negative stance on this documentary series. A statement that rings with a touch of irony, considering the media's role should be to objectively inform, not to blatantly influence. Yet, we find ourselves once again in the throes of a media storm, where the press seems more interested in stirring up controversy than providing a balanced perspective. The media's negative spin on Harry and Meghan's upcoming polo documentary series is a prime example of this disconcerting trend. They've been quick to condemn the series, urging the public not to watch. Such a vehement stance raises questions about the motivations behind their critique. One cannot help but suspect an undertone of envy and bitterness towards the couple's success. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. The media's role is to scrutinise, yes, but it is also to provide fair and impartial coverage. They are the lens through which we, the public, see and understand the world. When they choose to colour that lens with their personal biases, it distorts the truth and undermines their credibility. In this case, the media's negative spin seems less about the documentary's content and more about the couple behind it. It's as though Harry and Meghan's decision to step away from royal duties and forge their own path has somehow offended the media's sensibilities. Their success in doing so seems to have struck a nerve, leading to a barrage of negative coverage that reeks more of envy than objective critique. This envy is not only unprofessional, but also harmful. It perpetuates a culture of negativity that drowns out constructive criticism and discourages innovation. It's a toxic environment that stifles growth and breeds resentment. The media's role is not to tear down, but to build up to inspire, to inform. Their envy and bitterness towards Harry and Meghan's success is a stark deviation from this responsibility. The implications of such a negative spin are far-reaching. It feeds into the public's perception of the couple, influencing how we view their work and their intentions. It creates an us-versus-them narrative that is not only divisive, but also detrimental to the spirit of understanding and empathy that we should foster. The media's negative spin also sets a dangerous precedent. If they can so easily turn on a couple who have chosen to live their lives on their own terms, who else might fall victim to their vitriol? It's a slippery slope that we must be wary of, for it threatens the very foundation of our free press. While it's clear the media has taken a negative approach, it's important to make our own judgments. We must not allow the media's envy and bitterness towards Harry and Meghan's success to cloud our perception. We must engage critically with the media, question their motivations and seek out a balanced perspective. After all, in an era of rampant misinformation, our ability to think independently is our greatest defence. Opening. As consumers of media, we must remember to think independently. One of the most powerful tools we possess as individuals is our ability to reason and form our own opinions. It's a tool that enables us to navigate the vast sea of information that bombards us daily, allowing us to separate the wheat from the chaff, the truth from the falsehoods. Now, in the case of the upcoming Polo documentary featuring Harry and Meghan, it's essential to use this tool, this ability to think independently. We are all aware that the UK media has been spinning negative stories about this series. But let's not forget that these stories are just that. Stories. 
they are narratives crafted by individuals with their own biases and agendas. It's crucial to remember that these narratives are not the objective truth, they are a single perspective, a single interpretation of events, and as such, it's up to us, the viewers, to take these narratives with a pinch of salt. Instead of simply accepting what the media tells us, let's watch the documentary for ourselves. Let's form our own opinions based on what we see and hear. After all, isn't that the essence of independent thought? To question, to scrutinise, and to form our own conclusions? Let's not allow the media to dictate how we perceive Harry and Meghan or their upcoming documentary. Let's not let them influence our thoughts and opinions with their negative spin. Remember, it's not the media who are the judges of Harry and Meghan's work. It's us, the viewers. We are the ones who have the power to decide whether the documentary is worth watching or not. So let's use that power wisely. Let's exercise our right to independent thought. Let's watch the documentary and form our own opinions. After all, as consumers of media, it's our responsibility to think critically. It's our duty to question the narratives that are fed to us, to dig deeper and seek the truth for ourselves. Closing. After all, it's the viewers who should have the final say. Let's not forget the importance of supporting Harry and Meghan in their endeavours. These two individuals, once entrenched in the confines of the monarchy, have courageously stepped out into the world to forge their own path. This endeavour is not just about creating content independently, it's about realising their potential as global citizens and influencers. Harry and Meghan have a unique perspective, a blend of royal tradition and modern sensibility. This blend is what makes their upcoming Polo documentary series so intriguing. It's an opportunity to see the world of Polo through their eyes, a world that marries tradition, sport and philanthropy. And isn't that what we, as viewers, seek? Fresh, authentic perspectives that challenge our understanding and broaden our horizons. But their journey is not without challenges. It's disheartening to see the media's attempts to undermine their success. It's as if the media has forgotten the value of independent thought and creativity. Instead, they seem to be fueled by envy and bitterness, spinning negative stories and urging people not to watch Harry and Meghan's documentary. But why should we allow the media to dictate what we watch or don't watch? Shouldn't we, as viewers, have the right to decide what content we consume? It's about time we broke away from this herd mentality and made our choices based on our interests and curiosity. Supporting Harry and Meghan is not just about watching their documentary. It's about respecting their right to create, to express and to share their experiences. It's about acknowledging their courage to step away from what was familiar and comfortable and venture into the unknown. So let's not be swayed by baseless criticism. Instead, let's appreciate the unique contribution Harry and Meghan are making to the world of content creation. Let's celebrate their courage, their creativity and their commitment to sharing their unique perspective with the world. Harry and Meghan deserve our support, not baseless criticism. As we come to the end of this discussion, we want to extend our gratitude to you, our viewers. Your engagement, your time, and your commitment to tune in and stay informed are what makes this channel thrive. The conversation we've had today, the topics we've explored, and the perspectives we've shared are all made possible because you choose to join us. We're in this together, you know. This journey of understanding, of questioning, of challenging the narrative spun by those who would rather divide than unite, who would rather scorn than celebrate. Your participation here is not merely passive viewership. It is an act of resistance, an act of support, a testament to the idea that stories matter, that truth matters. So, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you for standing with us, for standing with Harry and Meghan, and for standing for a world where envy and bitterness are replaced with understanding and respect. If you haven't done so already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel, like this video if it resonated with you, and share it with those who might also find value in our discussion. Your actions can help to spread the word, to continue the conversation, and to challenge the narrative. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.